to Italy, where the right-wing Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni has unveiled her latest plan to reduce clandestine boats arriving from Africa. She's describing it as a non-predatory approach to re reducing migration, which has increased sharply despite her government's uh, proposal back in 2022 to make it the number one pledge to sort out. Seema Gupta explains what's going on from Rome. Ms. Maloney's uh, presentation is basically, she talks about how this plan is non-predatory, non-paternalistic and also non-charitable either. It's about looking at Italy and Africa as equal partners, at least that's how she puts it. Now, today, uh, we expect to see some 50 heads of government and state from Africa, as well as EU leaders, including the Commission and Council presidents, uh, leaders of the UN agencies, of the World Bank and the IMF, all gathered at the Senate today to discuss about this approach. It's important to remember that Italy is uh, holding the presidency of the G7, and Meloni, for her part, has said that Africa will be front and centre of that presidency this year. And this is the big kickoff of her so-called dubbed Mate plan. Now, Mate, because it's named after um, Enrico Mate, he's the founder of Italy's energy giant, Eni, in the 1950s. Now, exactly how it's going to work, we'll find out the details. But in essence, it's about Italy serving as a transit hub for African energy uh, while stimulating investment in an effort to curb illegal migration across the Mediterranean. Of course, uh, therefore, there's that that political element, as you also alluded to, uh, Miss Maloney's uh, far-right Brothers of Italy party, uh, saying when they came in, they wanted to curb immigration, but we saw the numbers increase in 2023 as opposed to 2022 in terms of uh, migrants coming from Africa uh, to the European continent. Now, they'll be discussing various issues such as cooperation in the economic sphere, infrastructure, food security, as well as migration, but of course, a lot about energy. Energy. That really is the focus here, uh, tapping into those African resources uh, for uh, Europe.